assistant spas to help them. <laughs> my scoop. And Lofty, you can pick them from the highest branches with your grabber. Oh, um, okay, Wendy, I think. Well, I'm gonna fill my tipper to the brim with them. Huh? Fill your tipper with what? Apples! We're off to Farmer Pickle's orchard to help harvest his apples today, Rolly. Rock and roll! What can I do, Bob? Oh, well, um, I'm not sure, Rolly. Oh, uh, you mean I can't come? Of course you can come, Rolly. That way you'll be ready and waiting when we do find a job for you. Rock and roll, Bob! Can we harvest? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Uh, yeah, I think so. Are you okay? Um, do you have a job for me yet, Bob? Oh, what's that noise? Back in a minute, Rolly. Uh, okay, Bob. Ow! 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 Turn it off! Ow! Bob a pickle! Farmer Pickles! Farmer Pickles! Oh, <laughs> hello, Bob. Just trying out my old apple press. Well, it sounds like it needs some oil. Hmm. At this rate, it'll take me all year to press my apple crop, Bob. Oh, let me try some, Farmer Pickles, please. <laughs> Here you go, Spud. <laughs> ah, yummy. I love apples, I do. Well, Spud, if you love apples so much, you better get to the orchard and help out with the harvest. Ah. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, on my way, Farmer Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> now, can you fix my apple press, Bob? Hmm. To be honest, Farmer Pickles, I think it's a little too old to repair. But how am I going to press my apples to make juice without it, though? I can make you one. Oh, that would be great, Bob. No problem. Wendy can look after the harvest. I'll get started right away. Need any help, Wendy? Oh, dear, Rolly. You squashed a pile of apples. Oh, no! Oh, oh I'm sorry, Wendy. Oh, I'll just go over here. 24 apples squashed. Oh, sorry, Sumsy. Watch my apples, Rolly! Oh, oh, sorry, Muck. Oh, no, Rolly. Things not going too well? Oh, Bob. All I can do is make a mess. It was an accident, Rolly. We know you didn't mean to squash the apples. But I really want to help with the harvest, Bob. I know you do, Rolly. I'll try and think of something. I'm just off to the workshop, Wendy. I'll see you later. See you later. <laughs> You go, Spud. Oh, thanks. <laughs> What's the easiest way to pick apples from a tree, Wendy? Get someone else to do the picking for you, Spud. <laughs> yes, very funny. <laughs> oh, I've just had an idea. You know what, Rolly? Harvesting's my favorite time. Yeah, I wouldn't know, Spud. I've never done it. Then, Rolly, my big green friend, today is your lucky day. So, how do you make an apple press, Bob? Hmm, huh. I'm not quite sure, Scoop. I've never made one before. That's why I'm drawing this diagram first. Hi, Bob. Hi, Scoop. I'm just going over to Farmer Pickles to see if he needs help with the harvesting. Hi, Max. 
Wendy's over there right now with the machines. Oh, sounds like I'm too late. What are you up to? We're trying to design an apple press for Farmer Pickles. His old one's broken. Ooh, can I help build it? Oh, that would be great, Max. Well, that's it, Bob. Yes. Now all we need to do is get the press over to Farmer Pickles. Uh, it's kind of big for me to carry, Bob. Don't worry, Scoop. I think this is a job for Travis's flatbed. Okay, Rowley. After three, roll forward and shake that tree. Okay, Spud. A one -a, a two -a, a three. Buddy. Oh, Rolly, stop! <laughs> Don't know why I didn't think of this before. Watch out, no! Rolly, no, 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 be careful! No, no! Ah. Oh no! Oh! 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 Ah, oh! Ah. My poor parsnip. Oh, are you all right? Oh, wow. That must have hurt. It's okay. I'll be fine. Uh, hey, what about me? Wow, what a mess. Are you okay, Rolly? Yeah, but the wall isn't. Look. I'm sorry. I squashed all those apples. I didn't mean to, honest. I know, Rolly. It was an accident. As long as you're all right. Thanks for being so understanding, Farmer Pickles. I'll speak to you later, Spud. Oh. Oh, what were you doing, Rolly? Well, I, I just wanted to help with the harvest, Wendy. Oh, how can I make things better? Come with me, Rolly. We're going to try out the new apple press. Oh, oh. And uh, <clears throat> I'll. Rebuild this wall, Bob. Thanks, Wendy. Okay. Here goes. Oh, it's kind of stiff. Let me give you a hand, Farmer Pickles. <laughs> He's right, Bob. It won't turn. Hmm. The apples are too hard. We need to find some extra pressure. I can do it, Bob. That's what I do. Roll things flat. <laughs> Do you know, Rolly? I think you found yourself a job. Okay, Rolly. After three. One, One two, two, three. three. Tastes delicious. Good job, team. The first Sunflower Valley apple juice. All thanks to Rolly the Apple Press. <laughs> Rock and roll! <laughs> Hi, Annie. Welcome back to the seaweed farm. Look. My first crop. All nice and wet and slimy. Not for long, Muck. We're going to dry it. Dry, dry it? it? That's right. If you leave seaweed sitting around all wet, it goes all rotten and smelly. Hoo-wee! <laughs> but if you dry it out, it keeps for ages. And I've discovered a really good way to dry seaweed, everyone. A seaweed drying tunnel. Wow-wee! Wow -wee. That's a really great idea, Bob. Um, how does it work? Well, it's a tunnel, you put seaweed in it, and it dries. Fantastic! I'll mark where it's going. Scoop, can you dig it out, please? No problem, Bob! Dizzy, I'll need some concrete. Coming right up, Bob! Muck, can you go back to the yard and get some materials? Muck's on the job! Can we build it? Yes, yes we, we can! can. What are you doing? Hello, hello, Mac. I'm, oh, I'm not 
trying to uh, drive my washing, but uh, I've got myself all tangled up. <laughs> Do you know any other ways of uh, drying laundry? Maybe that's like drying seaweed. Wait there, Mr. Beasley. Dizzy, you know Bob's brilliant seaweed drying tunnel idea. Well, I've had an idea too. I'm going to help Mr. Beasley build a special laundry drying tunnel. A laundry drying tunnel? Yeah, it's gonna be just like Bob's seaweed drying tunnel, except it'll dry laundry instead. That's a brilliant idea, Mark. Don't tell anyone. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> okay. Um, Bob, what's the first thing you build for the tunnel? Well, Muck, you put down a concrete foundation. Concrete foundation? Then you build six pillars. Six pillars. Okay, I'm going to help Mr. Beasley with this washing. Ah. <laughs> a concrete foundation, but uh, I don't have a cement mixer. Oh, well, um, okay, six pillars. Tunnel gonna be big enough? I've got a lot of clothes, you know. Six pillars. That's what Bob said. Uh, I'll be back soon. I'm back, Bob. So what's this part? The wooden frame, Muck. It supports the tunnel. Oh, great! Muck, Bob didn't use all the wood. You can have these extra pieces. Thanks, Dizzy. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh, my thumb! Oh, do we have to build it out of wood? Yes, Bob's tunnel's made of wood. But I, I keep getting splinters. Well, why don't you wear gloves? That's a really good idea, Muck. We've nearly finished, Muck. The seaweed goes on this mesh of freshly cut bamboo. Freshly cut bamboo? And the tunnel itself is made out of recycled plastic. Recycled plastic? The sun shines through the plastic, and the seaweed gets really hot. Really hot. And finally, we turn on the solar-powered fan. It blows air along the tunnel, and the seaweed dries. The laundry dries. And the seaweed dries. Thanks, Bob! Okay, there's some bamboo left, but no more plastic. Oh, and don't forget, you need a solar-powered fan. Uh, where am I going to get a solar-powered fan? I wonder. Nice of you to offer to dry our laundry for us, young Muck. In you go. Oh, uh, careful, Mr. Beasley. My favorite shirt's in there, you know. I do hope it won't get too wrinkled. Oh, I have so much of this wet, slimy seaweed to dry, it won't all fit. Don't worry. The tunnel will dry the seaweed so fast, we'll have time to do lots of loads. Muck to Bob! Muck to Bob! Hello, Muck. Can you come to Mr. Beasley's? Bob, I've got something to show you. On my way. For heaven's sake, my, my fan's not strong enough. It's blocked. We've got to take some laundry out. But I need to dry my clothes right away. Maybe it's just drying slowly. Should we check an item? Oh, Bernard. That's your favorite shirt. Good gracious. I told you we shouldn't have used that splintery wood, Muck. Splintery wood? Oh, no. I thought this laundry device was safe, young Muck. Oh, <gasps> it's all green. The bamboo. It's staining everything. Oh, no. It's a catastrophe. Oh, Muck. That looks great. That's brilliant. That looks fantastic. But it isn't. It's supposed to be a laundry drying tunnel, but it's not drying laundry. It's ruining. Whoa. Whoa. I don't understand, Bob. I made it exactly the same as your tunnel. Why didn't it work? Because.
as muck, a tunnel that works for drying seaweed doesn't work for drying laundry. Precisely, Bob. If Mr. Beasley wanted to dry this much laundry, the tunnel would need to be a lot longer. That's what I said. Using splintery wood's all right for seaweed, but clothes need to be treated a bit more gently. Oh, Bob, I thought I had a brilliant idea. Oh, Muck, you just needed to think a little more about what laundry needs to get dry. Think a little more. turned Mr. Beasley's long line into lots of little lines. I'll be able to hang everything on that. Hmm. Let's stick it on a pole. If it's up high, the wind will be able to get to it easily. How brilliant! Any more ideas, Muck? laundry drying machine looks beautiful. Muck's laundry dryer turns in the wind so the wind gets to every bit of laundry and everything dries quickly. It's the best laundry drying machine ever. Wow! Dry seaweed! Lots of it! It'll keep for ages. Now you can use the dried seaweed whenever you want. That's right. For cooking or turning into glue or medicine or soap. Seaweed has lots of uses. And you know, it's not just seaweed that keeps for ages if you dry it out. You can dry out all kinds of things. Herbs, flowers, different kinds of fruit. Pineapple? Oh, yes. You get slices of dried pineapple and tropical fruit mix. I could make a pineapple drying machine. Or even a tomato drying machine. Those are brilliant ideas, Muck. A mango drying machine? A rhubarb drying machine? Oh, I can't wait to get started. 